Hello, welcome to another toneless landscape oil painting demonstration with your painter in residence. I'm Francis McCarthy and welcome to day 20 of the Past Masters series and I'm doing a study after a painting by John Francis Murphy. I don't know the actual title so I'm just referring to it as landscape. I don't know if he even titled it or not. It's based on a very small um, image that I found on the internet which uh, well before I go any further I should apologize we are going to be missing a huge chunk of this painting most of the meat of the fa the first painting session uh, something happened to the video and uh, it just didn't make it so I have to apologize for that uh, the good news is so uh, what I am showing uh, is slowed down so um, you're gonna see my start and my finish in <laughs> The middle is gone, it's gutted. I uh, contemplated just leaving uh, off altogether, but I really like this uh, this little study, so I'm just going to put it up for uh, what I have and, and ap apologize. That's, that's how I'm going to roll. Uh, we've been pretty lucky on a lot of these uh, past masters, and I think I have a ratio of maybe one out of every 30 or 40 paintings I do. Uh, some part of it gets messed up, so I got pretty good pretty good I wish if I was uh, you know a rich successful painter um, as it stands I feel I'm just a successful painter there we go you can see we're missing a big chunk big chunk doing a bit of glazing there someone asked me about that on the channel uh, recently uh, you know what was that what was I doing and a uh, little bit of oil paint uh, dispersed with some uh, medium and it'll really change your tone. A lot of times you can use it to warm up, you can use it to cool down, you can do a lot of incredible things with glazing. It's a technique that's sort of fallen out of favor. The impressionists got nowhere near it, but um, I love it and I do it probably on everything I do and sometimes in major ways, sometimes in very subtle ways. Anyway, what I was saying before I started apologizing for messing up uh, the video on this, uh, you can make studies off of very, very tiny images uh, that you find online. You don't really need a huge image. Uh, you'd be surprised. I mean, in our mind, we look at it, we go, well, that's just so tiny. But what I do is I, uh, I load it up in a little old Sony digital frame, and uh, I'm off to the races. I also have like a, a TV set my wife got about um, I don't know, five or six years ago that accepts USB sticks. That has a little different color temperature than the uh, Sony frame, but it's bigger. And I'm thinking uh, for this uh, bunch of stuff I'm working uh, on actually getting to uh, in the studio, I'll probably be using that because um, generally if I'm painting bigger than 5 by 7 I like to jump up to the uh, TV, which is maybe about 20 inches by wide by, I don't know, 14 inches high, something like that. You know, it's big. It's not huge though, by modern standards, but uh, it's pretty good. It works pretty good. Um, anyway, what I've been doing in the studio, oh my goodness. Uh, well, I'll take you through the story real quick. Um, I set up about 15 past masters about a month ago thinking I'll just do one here and one there knowing that we're only five or six weeks away from having no more past masters to feature on this channel and uh, I kept my first couple I did were great because you know I was inspired um, by the images but the the rest I, I hate to say it some of them were Bruce Crane's and I'm just I like Bruce Crane but I don't know I haven't done any studies after his work he just I don't resonate with him as a painter anyway. Uh, I had a couple of Bruce Cranes and I thought, okay, now's the time to get some Bruce Crane. But uh, looking at him in the studio, I just like, I don't feel this. I'm not feeling this. I don't want to do this. So what I did was I thought, well, what I really want to do is express myself a little more, uh, a little bit bigger size, and maybe even revisit some of my favorite paintings. And uh, because I'm sharing this with you and uh, hopefully you're getting something from it but the real point and purpose of uh, doing the past masters is to educate and improve my own work and 
I have to say that since I've started doing them about, um, well, back in 2014 or so, my work's made a vast, vast improvement. And I put a lot of that down to, uh, to really hunkering uh, down and, and trying to figure out what some of these masters were doing, at least with my vocabulary, with my voice, you know, my interpretation. I don't worry about doing straight up 100% duplication of their painting. I'm not getting employed to do copies of paintings. What I am is doing studies in the same way uh, in sense that uh, students of painting have always done studies, which is to really try and get what you love. Um, and I love George Ness. I've done, we have a whole playlist full of Ness here on this channel. And, uh, and I love Francis Murphy. There's another playlist full of his stuff. I've done more in S than Murphy, but uh, getting back to what I was saying, I've selected about 44 scenes. Uh, a lot of them are Murphy's, a lot of them are in S's. Got some Corot in there. Strangely, not much in the way of Charles Warren Eaton, but uh, that's all right. I've done plenty of uh, Chuck, Chuck's work. Um, just wasn't feeling it this time around so I, and I do everything I do is with feeling um, so you know I had a bunch of boards prepped but that's quite a lot of boards and so I'm you know, starting to get everything organized sized ready to go and then I see oh my goodness I'm, I'm like 17 boards short and I was thinking well I could just do I had like 24 boards uh, and I was like nah you know what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna hunker down and texturize and finish these boards and so that's what I've been working on for the last few days um, unfortunately my new process is it is it's time-consuming it's painstaking and I would love to employ an apprentice to come and do it but uh, uh, none seem to be forthcoming and I have to say I'm so picky and persnickety that um, uh, uh, somebody doing this for free uh, probably wouldn't do it for free for long <laughs> long <laughs> not I'm a nice guy but I want things done right I want them done a certain way I'm very picky about the small things things that seem small to other people but they add up to big things down the road and like I was saying in the texturizing video that I shared uh, with you you know you're gonna see that texture every time you walk by the uh, painting and would behoove you to make it something very beautiful and very interesting and yet that isn't dominating the work you know um, and that's not something that can be done just in two seconds. It takes time and uh, it's time well spent. So I'm not begrudging that, but I am saying my arms get tired <laughs> Slapping down gesso. Anyway, I'm hunkering down. I'm trying to get through all that and uh, pretty soon I'll be getting back into to the painting and I'm just gonna be painting masters for a while so and uh uh, the way I see it, it's like I'm going to school. Maybe uh, like some people go to Italy and they start studying life drawing. Or I'm staying in my studio, but I'm studying the masters, man, and uh, expect great things there and expect great paintings afterwards, too. Anyway, I got to go. Thank you for joining me today. New subscribers, you guys are awesome. Old subscribers, you guys are even more awesome because you stick around and you, you watch the videos. I love that so much. Thank you from the bottom of my heart, and I'll be back real soon with another video. Meanwhile, please take good care and stay out of trouble.